Hi everyone, today on Carla's Corner, I'm going to talk about something that is an ever-increasing issue that is plaguing today's society. And that is, why are millennials leaving their jobs? So it has a lot of employers complex. It has a lot of millennials stressed. Today I will discuss why millennials are not only leaving their jobs, but also 50% more likely to leave their job in comparison to past generations. Also, we've noticed that 18 to 22 year olds are 75% more likely to leave their jobs in comparison to past generations. So come watch this video today on Carla's Corner to find out why exactly is it that the younger generations are leaving their jobs. One primary reason for why millennials are leaving the job that I'm going to list is that their boss might lack empathy. If you're an employee and you have an employer who only cares about how they make money and isn't concerned about what's going on in your life, isn't concerned with the troubles you are facing in your day-to-day -day routines. And they just say, and then one day you go in and say, man, I'm just like feeling down. And then the employer will be like, well, this you're at work. You shouldn't be feeling down. You're at work right now. You're working for me. Do you want to get paid or not? That is like a true lack of empathy in the employers at the work office and so it's also something that can cause someone to get depressed if you're constantly dealing with someone who is lacking empathy for your situation or for what you're dealing with then it's just showing that they don't care about you you're just you're just something that they're cranking out putting into their system so they can get money back it's like i understand you're a business i understand you're trying to make money but at what expense so me having empathy for me being able to understand what i'm going through should not interfere with the ability for you to get money right from your business if anything by figuring out what i'm going through to help me through it then guess what i will be a lot more a lot better performing at my job and once again be able to make you a lot of money so one reason for why millennials, people of the younger generations are leaving their jobs is because if they feel that their employer is lacking empathy for their circumstances, for their situation, just doesn't care about them in general, they're not going to have loyalty to those employers. They're going to do what they need to do regardless of what the employer needs. They're not going to care about the business. They're going to care about themselves as well because they've clearly seen that the employer does not care about them. All right. Reason number two why millennials and the younger generations are leaving their jobs is because they feel disengaged and underutilized. So not only do they not feel connected to their work, not only do they not feel that what they're doing has meaning, they also feel like they're not living up to the expectations that they have of themselves. If you consistently on a daily basis feel that what you're doing is pointless, it's going to be very hard to stay motivated in keeping that job. It doesn't matter anything. It doesn't matter about what you're getting paid sometimes. What matters is, do you feel like what you're doing is worth doing? Do you feel like you're helping society? Do you feel like you're helping the world? If you don't feel that way, then you'll. it can lead to feelings of disengagement. Or if, say, what you're doing might have meaning, but on a day-to-day -day basis consistently what's happening well you feel like man i'm just not living up to my potential in this company there's no way to get promoted there's no way for me to truly contribute how i want to contribute that's going to cause millennials and people in the younger generations to quit their jobs if they feel that what they're doing does not challenge them in some way does not allow them to reach their full potential, then what's going to happen is that they are going to leave for a job that is allowing them to reach their full potential. 
is allowing them to be challenged in the way that they need to be challenged. And it's, they're being challenged in the way that they need to be challenged. And they're also finding purpose in what they are doing. All right, so third reason for why millennials and younger people in the younger generation are leaving their jobs is because they feel undervalued. If you are consistently putting in everything you have to a job and it's still not good enough, you're still being told, man, you, you have a lot of work to do. Even though you just spent maybe an all-nighter accomplishing the report or creating that lesson that needed to be made, and, you're, and then you're told, man, that sucked. That just wasn't good. Then it's like, what's the point of putting any energy into a job that's not going to appreciate you no matter what? And day after day, they're not saying, oh man, they're not recognizing that you did well. They're just pointing out whenever you have a flaw. That's going to quickly cause someone to feel not only unstable in their job, but also very quickly seek job elsewhere because they who wants to feel like what they're doing is pointless like even though they put in all of this work all of this energy into doing what they have been doing like and you're ignoring the stats like oh man you, they they were able to get a 50 percent increase in the amount of money saved in that company or a 50 percent increase in reading levels in that company for what was required of the students or they were able to have 50% more upsells this week in comparison to other employees. And then despite all of that, they do one wrong thing and all of what all of the good they did is just out the window. So what's going to happen when they feel underappreciated, undervalued? They're going to leave that job and potentially find another job where they feel like what they're doing is being appreciated understand why it would be hard for jobs to simply say thank you or nice job they don't say that anymore at jobs they just say you got work to do and that's about it and that's why those employees leave that company next reason for why people are leaving their jobs is because they're feeling overstressed and also overworked so if you are in an environment where you're just putting it in your all, you're getting everything done, and then you're, you think you're at the finish line, you think you've done everything you needed to do, and then they just stack a thousand more papers in front of you, then that is just ridiculous, or a thousand more tasks, or a thousand more things that you need to accomplish. It's just ridiculous. That's going to cause you to become not only stressed, but also overworked. That can quickly lead to burnout. Burnout is the first thing that will happen that will lead your employees to have a lack of energy, a lack of passion for what they're doing, and just a lack of interest for getting the job done. If you want your employees to reach their fullest potential, then don't overload them with work, especially if it's work that is not necessary or can be cut out. A lot of the work that we are overloaded with, they're pointless tasks. And basically they're given to us because they think we have too much free time and they wanna feel that they're getting their money's worth. But essentially what they're doing is they're causing the employee to burn out and then they're doing all these tasks that they feel is pointless and they're like man this is so pointless this isn't helping at all they just want to keep me busy like who wants to spend their whole day doing busy work because they've accomplished the main task and instead of moving on and trusting that that employee will work on something for that company that's more important they just overload them with tasks or say that they're just doing really well and as a reward, instead of letting them just have a breather, they say, here's your, here's your reward. You can be promoted where, guess what? You're going to do more work. Nobody wants to have to go through that. Nobody wants to be overworked. Nobody wants to be overstressed. Nobody wants to have too much on their plate. All right, so next reason for why employees are leaving their work is because there's no opportunity for promotion. So 
If you are in a job where you are just stuck where you are at, there's no opportunity for promotion, you barely get any raises, nobody wants to have to deal with that type of environment where they're just going to be doing what they're doing no matter what with no for a no foreseeable future that they could potentially be evolving as workers or evolving in their tasks or moving up in the field. I know so many businesses that when they finally hire another manager or they finally hire someone who is like a leader for that organization, they don't hire from within, they hire from without. And instead of promoting those employees, they're basically just kind of rubbing in their face that they're gonna get someone with maybe a little experience but either way not as much experience as them and then they're expected to take orders from those people even though they know that they know more than that person so a lot of different ways that companies just maybe lack the ability to have promotion in that environment so when employees feel like they're stuck where they're at they're never going to remain loyal to that job. They want opportunities for their own self-growth too. It is the only natural thing of a human to feel that like they want to climb up the ladder. They want to just be able to see themselves getting further in some way, right? When they don't have that opportunity, they're not going to stay at that job. They're going to make their opportunities somewhere else. Another reason for why people in the younger generations are quitting their jobs is because of poor culture within that job. It's just a poor working environment. You come in and it's a very just toxic place to work. Not only from your people, your bosses, but also your fellow co-workers, your fellow employees. It's just a, a toxic environment. Uh, people are telling on each other, people are um, just acting as if you're in their way for their accomplishments, there's discrimination, um, a lot of biases towards your fellow co-workers, and then your bosses don't do anything to get rid of it, and when you say you have this concern, they act like you're the problem. When you critique their business, they act like you're the problem for telling them the thing that needs to change. That is a very poor work culture, poor work environment. Who wants to take orders from someone or who wants to help a company? Because that's what's happening is that you're not, they're not doing you the favor. The employee is doing the company a, a, a favor by working for them, all right? So for them to just take your criticisms, to take your what you believe should change, to take your concerns and just throw them out the window and then point a finger at you and try to say something's wrong with you because you figured out what the issues are, that's going to cause that employee to leave. And it's not, they're not bringing these issues up because they're trying to be difficult. They're bringing them up because they think that it's a toxic work environment and it needs to change. If the company is trying to continue on with that toxic work environment, nobody's going to want to stay in that type of environment long, except for the ones who like toxicity in their lives. So that's why millennials work or quit their work jobs because they don't want to have to deal with that toxicity. It seems that misery loves company and People in the younger generations don't want any part of that misery that loves company with them, right? The next reason for why millennials are leaving their jobs at a drastic rate is because of the lack of trust and autonomy that they feel in their workplace environment. So in today's age, we have a workplace environment where the majority of uh, employers and companies, they don't trust their employees. They don't trust that they can be one, professionals. They, two, don't trust them to be able to do their jobs and do them efficiently. They don't trust that they'll know what they're doing or want to continue to develop their skills. They don't trust them in any way, shape, or form. 
So they're always constantly micromanaging their employees. So what this does is it's creating an atmosphere where the workers are always going to feel anxious, like they're doing something wrong, like their job is at stake. Who knows? It might be. So when this environment is created where the workers are just feeling anxious all because of the lack of trust and autonomy in the workplace, nobody's going to want to have to do that or deal with that on a daily basis, especially if you're not getting paid much. Like who's going to want to have to be put through that? Oh, I'm gonna do a check-in every single day to see if you're doing the tasks that you're supposed to be doing. And if not, I'm going to put you on this, this, and this management, uh, this management plan. Nobody wants to have to do that. Like, yeah, people work at their own pace, but people are still, no matter what, going to get their jobs done. If you set the expectation that this needs to be done, you don't have to manage your employees to make sure it is every single day. It'll get done. Tell them the time you want it done and it'll get done. There's no need to manage them or micromanage. All right. So just keep that in mind that one of the ever prevailing things that's happening in the workplace is a lack of autonomy, micromanaging and just the lack of trust that employees are feeling from their co from their workers that or the employers that they're working under. All right, so one of the other ways in which millennials have decided that they don't want to work with the current workplace is that there are so many options available for them to work. They don't have to settle for a nine to five job anymore when there are so many options. Look at the YouTube spectrum. Look at all those jobs available that weren't. Look at the financial markets, all those ways to make money that weren't previously. Look at all of the people who are starting their own businesses, marketing their own products that we weren't able to do or be successful at in past generations. So in this generation for the millennials and Anyone who's younger than that, they've decided enough is enough. They're going to be their own bosses. Uh, there's there are independent contractors where you can uh, deliver, make deliveries. So many options available. Why would they choose to work for an annoying employer if you know if they're following those other annoying guidelines? for why millennials don't want to work for them, why would they have to put up with that when they don't have to, when they have other options available? If it's a great job, then yeah, they're going to stay there. But it's only going to be a great job as if the employer makes it a great job. If they set up the environment, set up the workplace, set up the working conditions to where the employee is going to love it there and would be very regretful if they left. But that's not the case with today's work environment. They make it very easy for these younger people to say enough is enough and to go somewhere else, do something else with their time where they can get paid significantly more money. All right, guys, so there you have it. Those are my reasons for why millennials and people who are younger, even younger than millennials, are just, you know, going into the workforce and why they are leaving their jobs why they are saying no to being an everyday nine to five worker, why they are saying no because of the uh, options that they have available. Thanks for watching Carla's Corner about why millennials are leaving their jobs faster than ever. And be sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video, especially if you found it beneficial to you.